Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number three of my Met Police Save here on FM19. And we're up against Dorchester Town in our second league game of the season. As you can see by the league table, the first day was awful for us. But it was almost as bad for Dorchester Town. We are bottom of the table after one game. Dorchester are second bottom. But hopefully we can get a better result today than the 3-0 drubbing we had at home to Wimborne Town in the first game. And to try and improve on results, I have gone out into the transfer market and I have bought two players on a free transfer. So let's go and find out about them now. The first one is Ryan Edmonds, a 24-year-old, mainly a right winger. But look at that, he can play anywhere on the right side, anywhere on the left, and if needs be, anywhere in the middle, apart from up front, because look at that free finishing. I'm not putting him up front for anything. But he looks decent for on a winger role. Winger role? What, what has happened to me lately? Winger role. His acceleration is 11, his pace is 11, he's got 8 crossing and 8 dribbling, 6 passing. So he should be decent for this level, I'm hoping. He has been released by Sutton Coalfield and he spent a year out of the game. But I've brought him back and so let's hope that we can get him to give us some decent performances and maybe throw in some crosses for our strikers to score quite a few goals. And the next one to come in is Shurafel. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that second name. Shurafel. And hopefully we can be sore as hell to get some assists out of him. I've brought him in to play on the left. Because even though it does say his best role is on the right. He is a natural ish winger on the left. Again he's got 12 acceleration. 10 pace. 9 crossing. 6 dribbling. 6 first touch. Seven passing. So he, he's going to be okay. I'm hoping he's going to be good for this level. We do need to get some wingers. Get some crosses coming into the box. Because I think it's fair to say. The wide midfielder experiment I did on the first game. Did not work out that well. Did it lads? Williams in goal. Brown and Myers on the both sides of the defence. Still has no nonsense fullbacks. Sticking with that for a little while. See how we get on with that. We've got Sam Williams and Ollie Robinson in the middle of defence. And then on the wings, we've got one of the new guys, Edmonds, on the left. We've got Tom Nyama in the centre midfield in the attacking role. We've got Harry Stanley on loan from Swindon on the other side in a more defensive central midfield role. Then on the right, we've got Gokhan, Gokhan Gokman. That's how you say it. Blackmore up top as a target man. And Mazone. As a poacher. And then on the bench we've got Kazakis, Arthur, Chislet, Collins, Wright, Robertson and Bailey Mummery. And so that is how we are going to line up today. And yeah, like I say, we're going a bit more with the wingers. I've changed the actual tactic itself a little bit. We're going a bit more direct passing. We're going to be distributing quickly. And we're going to be countering rather than holding shape. Which is what I was trying to do in the last game. And then out of possession, we're going to be lowering our defensive line and going for a higher line of engagement. See how that gets on for the first 45 minutes at least. And so let's go on to the game and see if we can improve on the first game. And as you can see, we have got Dorchester Town. They are slight favourites. And I will talk you through the Curti kits at half-time. Curti is our match sponsor for today. You know what, actually, I'm going to do it today. He is our match sponsor for the day. And if you would like to get your logo on our kits and get a shout-out on these videos, please do let me know either down below or on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. DM me and send me over your logo, and I will put your logo on our kits for my next episode, these kits still all made by Kegman Plays. And I, all I've done is I've taken uh, some blank ones Kegman sent me and just put Curtis logo on them. And I rather like the third kit. 
it was something a bit funny me and Kegman came up with to put Michael Jackson on one of the kits. And so he did. And then Curtie got in touch and said he really likes them. And so that's why he's on the logos today. Kurt EFM, if you've not heard of him, what have you been doing with your lives? Go and check him out on Twitch. His link's going to be down below. He's an awesome streamer, a really awesome guy. And he will tell you himself, he is the champ. And so go and check him out. And now let's go and crack on with our game. Here we are, Dorchester Town at home, going with a 4-1-2-2-1 formation. They're calling it a 4-1-2-3, but I say the one is more defensive than that, so yeah, that's what I'm going with for them. Let's read out their names. We've got Latham, Martin on the left, Egan on the right, Carmichael and Rose in the middle of defence, Stewart in the middle of the defensive midfield, Kite on the left of the central midfield, Panasar Dawa in a proper central midfield. Williams and Brooks on either side on the wings. And then they've got some divine hope up front with the Pope playing up front for them. So let's go into the dressing room. And now let's go into the team talk. Going to go assertively. I want to see a much better performance. That's got two of them motivated. Let's see if going I've got faith is going to get any more of them. Feeling any better about themselves. He's working with a couple. And so now let's go kick off the game. As you can see the team's just walking out onto the pitch. And now it's us with the kick off. Stanley to Robinson to Stanley. And that's the end of that. Now it's Latham with the goal kick for them. Goes long but we win it back nicely there. Blackmore somehow gets it to Stanley. He tries to play it to a teammate but... Ball gets nowhere near, and now the Pope's in. Pope's taken a beautiful touch, and it's gone wide. <sighs> Thought that was going to be going in then, just to extend our nightmare start. And now it's Gokman with the ball. He wins it back off Kite, plays it inside to Nayama, and he goes wide to Edmunds. Can Edmunds get the ball into the box? He's, he's in the box himself. He shoots, and it's just wide. And now here we are, then with the corner, goes out to Brooks. Brooks with the ball to Panasar. And he gets it back into the box. Williams with a shot and it's gone wide. Neither side's attacking prowess really being shown as yet. And now Williams with the ball. But it just goes to their man again. But Stanley now wins it with a long ball. Can Mazzone get onto this? He does. He shoots and that's rather simple for Latham to just pick up. I just made a shout to demand more, but the highlight is still going on. It's Williams with it. Williams, can someone close him down, please? And that shot is saved easily by Williams. Well, OK. That's half time. Not too much quality or too much excitement there, really, to be honest, in the first half. But they've had six shots to our five. Two on target apiece. And possession has been quite 50-50. I do think if anybody scores first in the second half, they will be the team that wins it. So I'm going to go assertively again. Uh, I'm far from pleased. And most of them are motivated. Blackmore is stressed. Just going to try and give him some encouragement. Going to say you weren't that bad, but you can still improve. And now he's happy. So now let's go. Second half. Go and win this game. Okay, guys, 65 minutes gone. Now just making a couple of changes. Collins coming on for Blackmore, who's on a 6.2. And Nyama, who's on a 6.6, .6, being taken off for Ethan Chislett. And I'm going to switch my two wingers to attack. Just see if that makes any difference in the last 20-odd minutes. And see if we can get a win out of this game, because we need one. That would be quite nice. I've told them both I've got faith, and they've taken no notice. And now, oh, is Dorchester coming through? They might be able to cross this into the box. They don't. We get it away. It's a penalty. Gockman's given away a penalty. Even the commentary saying it didn't look like a foul. And we are in danger here. It's Pope with it. It scores. Oh, no. Oh. Not the start I wanted at all. The keeper got so close to saving it. Unlucky, mate. 
And now we're going to go very attacking and just try and demand more. Because I don't know what else we can do. As you know what, actually I know what I can do. Chuck Edmonds and Gockman up there and see if that improves matters at all. Here we go, it's Dorchester again. Panasar with a free kick and the shot there goes over the bar. And we need an equaliser, please. 30 seconds left. Don't think it's going to happen. Myers to Williams. Back to Lowes. And he clears the ball out wide. Goes to Brooks. Can we win this back, please? We do, but only as far as Dower do we clear it. Back to Stewart. To Lowes. Wide to Martin. And that goes out. And the referee's looking at his whistle. He's blown it. Oh, my days. Two games, two defeats. Who's our best player today? The keeper, I think. I think the keeper was our joint best player and he conceded a penalty. That tells you all you need to know. They've had 10 shots to our 9, 4 on target to our 3. 52% of the possession to our 48. And we've lost 1-0. I'm going to go passionately. I say, I'm going to go assertively again. I'm far from pleased. And it's only got a few of them motivated. Going to hand it over to my assistant. He's not been able to do anything else. The players are looking content. They should not be content. That was not a good performance again. And so, who have we got to come back to? I think... Pool Town, I think them. So what's that giving? That gives me one, two, three, four, five games to play over the weekend. Or four games. Yeah, five games to play over the weekend. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back with you guys for the Pool Town game. And yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. Just give me a massive thumbs up down below. As my microphone, again, is trying to jump off the table. I think he's given up with managing Met Police, or at least being a microphone for Met Police. So, yep, subscribe down below if you're new around here. Every new subscriber really does help the channel out. Um, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And that's everything I've got to say for now. I am Bad Jokes Gaming. I am out.